Hello watch fans! Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1974 Universal Genève Gilt Shadow Ultra Slim. Now most people will be familiar with the uh, Golden Shadow designed by Gerald Genta no less and it came in a gold case but what was happening in the 70s was gold was going through the roof quadrupling in just a few years in value. So they bought out the gilt shadow. So this is silver and then gold plated. And you'll notice the very distinctive basket weave bracelet. This is an integrated to the case, but it is long enough for most wrists, which is critical. You can always make these shorter, but you can't make them longer. You can see the pattern on the back. And then you can also see how little wear there is. There's one square there where you can see the silver. It's like one chunk of gold plating has come off, but the rest, including this clasp, which is the part that's going to show the wear the most, is very, very good. So, what makes it ultra slim? Well, inside this is a micro rotor movement. And this is the second thinnest automatic movement that was available at the time. Piaget had the thinnest. The next one up from this was uh, the one shared by Vacheron Constantin and, and Audemars Piguet. So you know we are not messing around. This is very good horology. While the basket weave bracelet and the case design is going to divide opinion it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea it, the dial is very interesting it goes from brown to gold to sand really really nice and you cannot fault the quality so while this competed with the very high-end brands at the time it's nowhere near the price of them now I have found one or two on the internet, in the history of the internet. This has still got the original case back sticker on. Signed crown, working nicely. Will I ever have another one in my hand? I doubt it. If you want one, then I suggest clicking the link in the comments seeing what the price is if that works for you getting in touch because you just it's just such a rare thing there's also pictures of that movement nice and clean running sweetly that's on the website as well thanks very much for watching please consider subscribing if you like seeing interesting vintage watches not everything has to be the same, we try and get diverse watches like this because it's just more interesting. Thanks again.